it's Stacy. <laughs> Lately, I have been eating quite badly. And because of that, I'm feeling kind of gross. I decided I should go on a little diet for a while. And while I was scrolling through Instagram, I saw this post that said 6 kilogram weight loss in a week meal plan. So obviously that really grabbed my eye. The meal plan did look pretty clean, like clean eating. So I decided to try. By the way, this is a Korean extreme Instagram weight loss meal plan thing so it does have like some korean food and elements to it so that's what i'm going to be doing this week for the next seven days i'm going to eat like this instagram post suggested me to eat so this is me a little bloated i don't feel the best right now My grandparents have sent me a box of sweet potatoes which will be very helpful for this diet. For the breakfast, I am having sweet potato, two eggs, multivitamin, and soy milk. So I am here with my food and for breakfast, this is actually quite a lot of food for me so I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think I'll get, be hungry or anything afterwards and let's begin. And also for milk, I don't like drinking just straight milk so I got myself soy milk because you know I'm a sucker for soy milk. It is time for lunch so I'm supposed to have one piece of chicken breast, one piece of sweet potato, and some broccoli. I got two tiny sweet potatoes because I couldn't find one normal size one. Here is my pro tip when it comes to preparing your sweet potatoes. Get yourself some baking paper and place your peeled sweet potatoes and then just wrap them up. Then place it in the microwave for about 5 to 6 minutes depending on your microwave. Once they're done, just cut them up. For chicken breast, this is what I'm having in Korea. They sell these ready-made chicken breast patties. They're healthy and low in calories. It looks really delicious and this is like kind of like what I usually eat like when I'm on a diet as well So I'm happy with this meal, but honestly after this I think I'll be too full to have dinner, but we'll see and this Is actually really yum It's time for dinner I need to eat another sweet potato and chicken breast but I really don't want to eat because I'm full and that's too much food for me for today <laughs> but I have to keep up with the diet plan, the meal plan so I shall go eat I did manage to get dinner and this is it Good morning <laughs> I woke up and now I'm gonna stretch and do my usual routine. I don't think I can run today because I think I um, effed up my knee while I was running yesterday. So it kind of hurts when I'm walking. So I'm gonna skip that. I'm just gonna do some stretching and yoga. So here is my breakfast, very yellow as you can see, and that's a lot of sweet potato. Okay, so I am about to have my really big yellow breakfast. Um, like I said yesterday for day one, this breakfast is a lot of food for me. I don't usually have breakfast, so eating this much food is very overwhelming, but we'll see. 
it is time for me to have my lunch now and I have to have yet another sweet potato and I think I need to have a banana and chicken salad but I am so craving kimbap right now and also what's really hard about this diet is that there's no snacks I'm not allowed to snack on anything like the kind of snack that I'm talking about isn't even like potato chips or chocolate I just want my homemade almond butter and some granola that's all but I'm not allowed to have it it's really hard I decided to prepare my sweet potatoes in a bit different <laughs> the kimchi from grandma, the brown rice that I made, and our denjang soup. 잘 먹겠습니다. Dinner was very plain. I had one banana with chicken breast patty. So it's a crisis. I am so hungry. The third day is so hot. Like what the heck? Um, and the thing is, I had like the biggest meal today. You know, the lunch with like Korean denjang soup and stuff. And that was the biggest meal of this diet plan. So I don't know why I'm so hungry, but I'm so craving food so much. I want not, not even just snacks. I can I could just do one more sweet potato. Like I have been taking those sweet potatoes for granted, and I'm so hungry, and I don't know what to do. I just want to go to sleep so that I can wake up in the morning and eat. The anticipated morning came, and I got to have my breakfast as you can see. So milk, apple multiple vitamin and my chicken breast the meals were all very simple this day so for lunch i had sweet potatoes and chicken and dinner it was just cherry tomatoes with chicken breast patty once again the next morning it had snowed so it looked so pretty of course i had to take a video of it for breakfast that day, I got myself brown rice with some seaweed soup. It's so warm and comforting. It was perfect for weather like this. Oh, 
I am quite worried for today because I've already had my big meal in the morning and now all I get to eat is two chicken salad and I love how I started this diet saying oh actually it seems like I'm eating quite a bit but now I'm like regretting because I didn't realize how much I usually eat in a day and wow this is really hard but I can feel my body feeling a little different and everything so let's see I was supposed to have two chicken breasts, so I just cut them up and put them in my salad. We are working right now, but so this is basically it. My dinner, chicken salad once again, and sweet potato is supposed to be here, but it's still in the microwave. Yep. Good morning. It's the sixth day today. I think I'm getting used to this diet because I am not hungry at all this morning Actually, I feel pretty full even though I went to bed last night feeling super hungry so I am going to have one chicken breast, two bananas, and broccoli with the side of multivitamins Let's go This is my lunch for today. I've got my rice. They said bean sprout, but they didn't really specify what to do, so I just seasoned it with a little bit of sesame oil and my kimchi. I came outside to do some run some errands and I am having dinner with my friend and this is not good for me. What he's getting, he's getting burrito and there's mine. This green as salad. <laughs> So I just asked my friend to try my chicken Caesar salad because it's pretty good and he said no, it's fine because he wants to have his burrito. It's not fun. It is finally the seventh day of doing this diet challenge. I think I have become pretty used to this meal plan because I don't feel hungry or anything yet but at the same time, I don't really physically feel any difference i don't know if i have lost weight or not and since i haven't weighed myself since the first day um i'm not sure what happened or what the result of it will be but all i can say is that i do feel pretty healthy like i don't feel greasy or tired at all yes actually now that i think about it i don't feel tired at all that's actually pretty amazing like that itself um but weight wise i don't know how much i have lost but we shall see tomorrow morning this is my breakfast, my last diet breakfast. Chicken breast, broccoli, apple, multivitamins. Ta-da! And this is my lunch. I have got some salad with peanut dressing that I made at home. My chicken breast, last chicken breast. And then these are not potato chips, these are sweet potatoes. Just cutting these heaps. And finally, my last meal of this diet. I am having five eggs, five boiled eggs with no yolks it is the moment of truth today i have to weigh myself and see if my seven days of hard not really hard but like healthy eating diet worked so you can definitely see that i looked way more toned and i am not bloated anymore So overall, I lost around 1.8 kilograms in a week. It was not as dramatic as I expected it to be, like they said 6 kilograms in a week. But obviously, different body responds differently. Visually, I look so much better because uh, I look more toned, like I am not bloated at all. And more importantly, I feel much better. I was not tired at all. But I would have to say um, this meal plan was just a bit too much chicken breast for me i am so sick of chicken breast now i don't usually eat that much meat so that was like a little downside to it and the fact that they didn't allow any snack like not even healthy snack but i'm pretty sure that all the weight that i lost is just all water weight so as soon as i start eating junk food and stuff again obviously i'm gonna gain it back because that's how diet works like if you you need to constantly care about what you're eating and how much you're working out in order to maintain that status 
I will continue eating a bit healthier than I did before this diet. I'm not going to necessarily be following the meal plan that I did for the past one week, but I definitely will be eating more protein, less fat, less carbs, and try to maintain this status because I like how I look right now. And yeah, that was Stacy trying out extreme Instagram Korean diet meal plan for a week. Thanks for watching!